Today I am working on my 1991 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ80 and I'm replacing the distributor cap and rotor, part of my basic tune-up process. So we're going to get this uh, installed. It's a pretty straightforward process and I'm going to show you how to do it. All you're really going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, your distributor cap, and your rotor. And we can get started. I'm going to use uh, this little magnetic catcher and this magnetic reach tool i always use them in my videos because they're super helpful when i'm working on things when i'm taking off parts or taking off screws it's helpful to have in, on hand and that way you're not resting it against something and then it falls or if it does fall you can actually catch it with your magnetic reach tool so something to keep in mind uh, but it's not necessary for this process so to find the distributor cap it's not that hard to find it's the one with all the wires that are connected to it um, and this, if you basically follow the intake hose here and it's right under it. So it's a little hard to reach and it's hard to really get in there, but it's very simple to take off. So we have a total of three different screws that we're going to take off. I started off with my Phillips head screwdriver and unfortunately I started stripping one of the screws. So I had to ditch that plan and I went with a small socket attached to a kind of like a screwdriver set uh, that I got from Harbor Freight. It's a 5 16ths um, little adapter, uh, as you can see here. And it's super helpful because this um, uh, screwdriver has a little ratchet attached to it so you could easily move it. And so I just decided to go with that instead of the Phillips head. Okay, now that we have the distributor cap nice and loose and we can pull it off, we're not going to pull off any of the wires yet, right? Because each of these wires uh, pertains to a specific spark plug and then that spark plug goes to a specific cylinder. So, but you don't really have to worry too much about it. All you have to know is you have numbers on the new distributor cap and you have numbers on the old distributor cap and you're basically going to match them one to one. So you have one through six, so you're going to pull off uh, plug one, find it, and then right next to it, plug in your new distributor cap on uh, plug one, and so on and so forth, all the way through six. Something that helped me visualize where it's exactly it's supposed to go is to put it already in the order that it should be uh, before you set it in. So right here, I know that the five goes up top, then it goes three, six, two, four, and one. All right, now that we have the distributor cap set in right next to the old one, we're gonna we're gonna put one for one each of the wires without unplugging all of them and that way we don't get lost and, and get confused so you take out the five and put it in the five slot you take out the four you put it in the four slot three three slot and so on and so forth and when you pull these out you don't want to pull them from the wire you want to pull it from the stem part of it there they sell spark plug wire pullers but you don't really need those you just pull it off right from the stem and just pop it off and then to put it in you'll hear a nice little click in there once you place it into the slot it's supposed to go and that's pretty much it you just swap them one for one until you're done and because it is such a tight squeeze you might notice that um, in this process i accidentally unplugged the spark plug wire uh, for this one right here so that's part spark plug right there accidentally unplugged it if you do that it's no problem just put it back in and then push it until you hear it click and that's about it it's not not that big a deal so you just push it in and then until you hear it click you're you're good to go okay so don't worry about it uh you just don't want to mess up the wiring or where they're supposed to go now that we're done swapping all the wires i'm going to go ahead and replace the rotor now i waited till the end because look at the rotor it's all bent and damaged uh, this happened because I was pulling on the wires and kind of moving the cap around and that ended up damaging the rotor. Um, and when you pull this off, just pay attention to the direction that the rotor is pointing. Um, and, it, and you don't really need any tools to pop this off. Uh, just kind of pull it out and you should be fine. And to put it back in, just make sure you're putting it in the right direction, the same direction. And then you put it in the same way that you took it out. Very straightforward, nothing too complicated here. Now that we have our wires all on the new distributor cap and we have our rotor in, it is time to screw everything back on and we are good to go. And just like that, we replaced our distributor cap and rotor. It's a very, very simple 
uh, process. It seems complicated because there's a lot of wires that connect to it, but just simplify it, do it one wire at a time, and you'll be okay. If I could do it, you could definitely do it as well. I am not super mechanically inclined. Um, I'm just a guy that takes pride in working on his own vehicle, and I really enjoy this. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I do want to thank you for watching, and I have many more videos to come because I'm doing more maintenance, more preventative maintenance, and more tune-ups on my Land Cruiser. If you haven't checked out my other videos, I recommend you do it. Um, and leave me some comments. Maybe uh, there's something that I haven't done yet that you might want me to do. Um, definitely comment below and I'll put that on my list. Thank you for watching.